post recently appeared on the Vegas user forum where the user was trying to perform a vertical scroll on an image that contained text. For some reason, he couldn't use the inbuilt titles and text plugin for the task, so I posted a short video demonstrating how to do this using the inbuilt palm crop tool. For the reason of practicality, this video wasn't as detailed as I'd like, so I decided to include a more in-depth version into my tutorial series. I'll be using Vegas Pro for this demonstration, but the methodology is the same for Movie Studio Platinum. I'll also be using GIMP, which is a free open source graphics package. When text is created with the Titles and Text tool, the background to the text by default is transparent. I explain more about this background element in tutorial 34, Compositing. This transparency enables an image placed on a track below the text to show through behind the text. This is not necessarily the case when you want to use an image that contains text. The background is usually a colour that's fixed, commonly white for black text or black for white text. This means that any image placed underneath the text image won't show through or will only part show through. If the image or clip underneath the text image is a solid colour, then it's a fairly easy job to rectify this. However, if this isn't the case, some extra work is involved. The text image will need modifying to convert the background colour to transparent. I'll first demonstrate the easy way. Before I do anything else, I need to create the vertical scroll. For this I need to open pan crop, ensure that the direction icon is set to move in Y only, and the sync cursor icon is enabled. Now with the cursor at the start of the event, I'll move the frame upwards until the bottom coincides with the top of the image. This is the start of the scroll. Now I'll move the cursor to the end of the event. At this point I'll move the frame downwards until the top coincides with the bottom of the image. This is the end of the scroll and you'll see that a keyframe has been generated at the cursor. If you're unfamiliar with keyframes, I cover the basics of the subject in tutorial 20. Now I'll move the cursor back to the beginning of the event and play it. Now you'll see that we have a scrolling image. but it's surrounded by black. This is because there's no event on the track below. I'll now select a solid colour and place it on the track below. The obvious colour to choose in this case is white, because the background colour of the image is white. Let's do that. If I scroll it now, you can see that it looks as if it's only the text and the COVID image that's scrolling. However, if the image background isn't true white, there's a little tweak that can be done to the solid colour event to make it match the image background colour.
I'll get the text back on the screen. Now I can't change the original image background colour, but I can apply an effect to it which will sort of simulate this. I'll apply the sepia effect to it and change the blending strength to 1. And the blending fall off to 0 0.7. Before I proceed further, I need to disable temporarily the mouse point highlight. You'll see why in a moment. Now with the solid colour properties open, I'll click on the colour box. I'll then select the dropper icon and click on the background of the text image. You'll see now that the solid colour event now matches the image background. This means that again the text and COVID image seems to be scrolling on their own. You remember I had to disable the mouse highlight. This is because with the highlight enabled the dropper will always pick up the yellow of the highlight and not the colour I want it to pick up. I can now enable the mouse pointer highlight again. Now what happens if we need to scroll the text image over an event that isn't a solid colour event? Well, it can't be done the easy way I've just described. The event underneath the image event could be a multicoloured event, such as a photograph. In these circumstances, it's necessary to modify the image so that its background is transparent, allowing the photograph to show through. To modify the image, I'll be using GIMP. As I mentioned in the introduction, GIMP is a free open source graphic manipulation package. Now with GIMP launched, I'm going to load in the text image. The procedure involves creating an alpha channel for the image, then turning the white background into a transparent layer. This ensures that if the image is to be overlaid onto a background clip on a Vegas timeline, the background will show through behind the text of the image. So from the image menu, I'll select Layer Transparency Add Alpha Channel. This will have no apparent effect on the image, but will have added an alpha channel to it. Now I'll go to Colours and select Colour to Alpha. By default the colour to be converted will be white. If for some reason it isn't, change it to white by selecting the colour picker and then selecting a white part of the image. You'll now see that the background of the image will immediately change from white to a checkered pattern. This pattern is a standard representation of transparency. You shouldn't need to make any other changes. Click OK. Now you need to export the changed image by selecting File Export As. At the next dialog box, change the file name to image1 transparent or something similar. And 
and add the file type .png. If you wish, save it to a new location by changing the folder location in the box labelled Save in Folder. Next, click the Export button and select Export at the next dialog box. No need to change any of the other options. Now, back in Vegas, I'll use the Explorer tab to locate the ping image I've just created in GIMP. I'll pull it down onto the timeline after the original image one. Now I'll locate the background clip that the ping image is to be superimposed on and pull it down underneath the transparent image. Be aware that the background clip shouldn't contain any dark colours. The black text in the ping image will be swamped by these and make the text very difficult to read. Now I need to make this transparent image scroll. To do that I'm going to copy the keyframe set from the original image. I'll select the first keyframe and then while holding shift I'll select the second keyframe and right click and copy. Now to go to the transparent image open up the pan crop right click on the first keyframe and paste I can now play this one Now depending upon the amount of text in the image and its size, the image event may require lengthening in the normal way. If this is done you'll need to move the keyframe that was at the end of the image event to the new end of event. I need to deselect that one and then pull that to the end of the event. Now, all that may seem daunting. It's not really. It sounds daunting because I have to assume that you, the viewer, are a complete novice. And for clarity, I have to describe everything in detail. I appreciate that the requirement for a scrolling text image will seldom or even never happen. But if it does, you'll now know how to proceed. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.